Hi, I am Marla Freve, Captain of Professional Development and Training with Toronto Fire Services. So the motivation to put epinephrine auto-injectors on frontline apparatus in Toronto Fire Services was really the fact that uh, we looked at the community and we saw that there was a gap in care and we felt that we would be able to provide um, the necessary care to fill that gap. And in most of those instances, um, we were responding to either severe allergic reactions or anaphylaxis on many of those occasions. So taking a look at that, we understood that Toronto Fire Services arrives on scene in those very high um, profile incidents in approximately 55% of the um, instances. Looking at that gap in care, we decided that it was very plausible to train firefighters to be able to deliver that necessary medication that would potentially alleviate the symptoms of anaphylaxis in those patients. Many of the times that we arrived on scene in those cases of severe allergies, uh, patients actually were unable to deliver their own auto-injectors, or if they had loved ones or friends nearby, they didn't feel comfortable delivering the auto-injector. So that's where we saw the gap in care being provided. Toronto Fire Services has placed a lot of safety checks in place to ensure that every time Toronto Fire Services administers an epinephrine auto-injector that we're doing so properly, efficiently and safely. It is a delegated act and it's delegated to us by our medical doctor who's at our base hospital. We also have a program manager in place who oversees the, our entire epinephrine protocol. Toronto firefighters are trained on an annual basis and in doing so they become certified to be able to utilize an epinephrine auto-injector. In addition to annual training, uh, we have a few other safety measures in place. We keep all of our epinephrine pens inside our defibrillator cases so that they're well protected and that they're not exposed to sunlight. Toronto Fire Services has both the EpiPen Junior and the EpiPen for Adult. We keep our EpiPens inside our defibrillator cases. When Toronto firefighters check their defibrillators at the start of every shift, that's an opportunity for them to also check our epinephrine auto-injectors to ensure quality control. So in many of those circumstances, Toronto Fire Services is first on scene, uh, and we know that with severe anaphylaxis, time is of the essence. Some of the symptoms that we can alleviate with the use of epinephrine auto-injectors are smoothing out the, in the muscles of the airway to ensure that breathing is easier, as well as reversing the rapid onset of decrease in blood pressure. Some of the calls that we've actually attended to have included allergic reactions to seafood, soy, nuts, dairy products, bee and wasp stings, exposure to latex, as well as exercise-induced anaphylaxis. Since starting this program in 2012, on average, Toronto Fire Services has administered at least 30 instances of epinephrine auto-injectors annually.